Anyone who has grown up in America will tell you that the Underground Railroad was not a real railroad, but simply a network of places, routes, and people helping enslaved people escape to the northern states in Canada. This is mostly true. However, on one route, real trains were actually used to help people make it to freedom, and you can still ride the same route on Amtrak today. Here's the story. From 1830 to 1834, the state of Pennsylvania constructed the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad between, you guessed it, Philadelphia and Columbia. This route was only the second railroad to be built by the United States, and while it was built by the state, it played host to private passenger and freight trains. Around this same time, the town of Columbia in western Lancaster County was becoming a focal point of efforts to help escaped slaves. Slavery was still legal in Maryland until the Civil War, and slaves in that state would often use the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries as a route to the north. This is, in part, how Columbia developed a large black population prior to the Civil War. But for some newly free black Americans, Columbia wasn't enough, especially when it became legal for Southerners to cross into northern states to kidnap escapees. They needed a way to Philadelphia and points beyond. Enter William Whipper. Born to an enslaved mother and a white father in southern Lancaster County in 1804, Whipper became a renowned writer, speaker, and businessman during his lifetime. He was a strong proponent of abolition, temperance, nonviolence, and entrepreneurship, and he even mingled in the same literary circles as Frederick Douglass. In 1835, he moved to Columbia and began a lumber supply company with his brother-in-law, Stephen Smith, shipping materials from the Susquehanna River to Philadelphia over the new railroad. Historians believe Whipper and Smith may have been the richest black Americans prior to the Civil War, thanks to their business. However, they weren't just in it for the money. Starting in 1838, the two merchants built 13 specialized boxcars for their shipments, which had hidden compartments in one end. These would carry SKPs to Philadelphia and points beyond. The journey can't have been comfortable, especially for the 8 to 10 hours it took at the time, but it was a small price to pay for freedom. Despite the presence of railroad employees and required train inspections, none of Whipper and Smith's passengers were ever caught, and these cars were used up until the 1850s. Today, part of the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad is now a walking trail in northwest Lancaster City, and the site of the original PNC station is now a parking garage adjacent to the Red Rose Transit Authority's Queen Street Station. However, the portion of the route between Lancaster and Philadelphia is still host to trains today. You may know it as the Amtrak Keystone Corridor. In fact, in 2010, this portion of the corridor was recognized by the National Park Service as part of the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom, the first actual railroad to receive this designation. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and take care until the next one. Happy Black History Month, everyone!